That's a good song. I like thank that. You, thank you. you. You want to introduce these guys that are making such beautiful yeah, no, noise no, back here? No. <laughs> um, law enforcement could be listening. <laughs> and, uh, I don't want to take them before we get done with the show. So. I'll, uh, I'll start out right over here behind you, the guy that snuck in, uh, Mr. Owen Franklin. He's uh, from Lake Jackson, originally. He lives up in Dallas now. been with us for a few years, I guess. I uh, love him like a brother. Right behind him on bass guitar over here is Mr. Corey Davis. He's all the way from right over near Porter. Been with us, I think, the shortest amount of time, and that's a couple of years, I believe. Uh, over here on my right, Mr. John Matt Locke. He's all the way from Alvin. Guitar. And with me the longest from day one, uh, so he was around when California was written and he saw all of that mess, Mr. Brandon Beach on drums. Yeah. And, uh, I'd like to say that several of us are, uh, are military veterans. Brandon was in the Marines, John was in the Army, and myself in the Navy, so we uh, support that. So how's your CD doing? My CD? Yeah, I want to talk about it for a second because I love you. And, uh, well, I, I think appreciate that. I there's, to hear. There, there's a few of them in the back of my truck that are lonely and need a home. <laughs> he has a brand new CD, and uh, all of y'all, please support that cause because you're going to love his music. So before y'all get out of here, if you... Don't worry, y'all bought t-shirts that we have back there. Y'all please buy his CD because uh, this man's a very, very talented artist. And yeah. Love yeah. His music. Uh, you know, that that is kind of the reason that I that I do this, that, that we've been doing this for eight years. Because for me, Rex, uh, you know, when, when I get to be around musicians like you guys, uh, I, I always tell people it'd be like going out and you know playing playing golf with you know Tiger Woods or shooting hoops with LeBron or somebody you know you do that for long enough and just by osmosis some of it's going to rub you, off. You get a little on you. You don't get a little on you. That's what we call it in the rodeo. <laughs> you gonna get a little bit of that on you. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. So so for same me, with church by the way. <laughs> So be careful where you go in all cases. <laughs> you won't get some of them. So going back to real life for music and, and why we love, I, I love to get to sit down and talk to songwriters, you know, because uh, uh, anybody that's brave enough to, uh, it, and I don't know, you'll have to tell us what, what takes more bravery, being in the rodeo arena or putting your heart down on a piece of paper and then getting up in front of people and trying to sing it for them. Uh, I, I'd love to hear your perspective on that. But um Man, it's it's a uh, it's a blessing to me. So thank you for that compliment. Uh, and, and it's well, not thank you for honored that. to be here tonight. Truly honored. So you've had some great artists on the stage, and we just happen to be one of them. So. Well, tell me, um, let, let's let's talk about uh, the the content of your music, Rex. Because one of the things that I that I uh, I'm going to use the word admire about your music is the way that you write about things that are real in your life, whether that's a struggle like the last song we just heard, or whether that's about uh, your faith, whether that's about, you know, you feel the need to reach out to something bigger than yourself, uh, and, and that is a common theme in your music. So uh, why does that show up so much? Um, well, it's like we were talking about earlier. Uh, a songwriter out of Nashville told me when I was first starting out to write about what you know about. Um, you know about the situations that you're in, of course. Um, you know how that feels, you know what it looks like, you know where it was, you know where it's going. Um, so it's easy to write about that. If you can just get past the fact that people are gonna hear it and judge it, uh, because they are gonna judge it at some time, um, just get past that fact and put it out there. They're either gonna like it or they're not. And uh, luckily, you know, you learn along the way what works, what doesn't work. Um, so you quit writing all that stuff that doesn't work, right? That's what we're supposed to do. Uh, but I think you just, you put it out there, let them make a decision. Um, most of the people have been through it anyway. You know, we're all going through the same stuff, just in a different place, a different time, and a different way. Uh, so put it out there and be honest with it. That's all I can think about. Well, what do you want to play for us next? Uh, uh, you, you pick one. Uh, speaking of being honest, this is a song called 